Yo, yo, yo. This is for my TV. Welcome back to another video. Yes, sir. It's so beautiful out here today. I decided to walk outside today. <sighs> yo, getting some of this sunshine. You know, vitamin E. <laughs> vitamin D is from the sun. I know a little something. Yeah. But I'm here today just to chop it up with y'all and tell you to, like I told myself today, stop wasting time. Stop wasting time. You've been procrastinating long enough. And when y'all see these videos, I've, I've said this to myself before I said it to y'all. And now I'm recording it. But yeah. Stop wasting time. Stop procrastinating. Stop saying you, you're waiting on God to fix you before you tell, before you do what God has called you to do. I'm waiting on God. I'm waiting on God. Waiting for him to fix me. I got to hear the voice of God. When all along, you've heard God several times for several years to say, get it right. Get yourself together. Change your ways. Acknowledge him. And he should direct your path. All you have to do that's me and you acknowledge the fact that what we're hearing is God talking to us, letting us know you done had your playtime long enough. It wasn't nothing but the grace of God that has kept me. So just a little simple something that I wanted to share with y'all as God deals with me every day. Just share you a little tidbit here and there as I continue this transition and getting closer to God. Uh, Jesus, the Son of God. Yes, sir. Who is walking this something, y'all? But yeah, it's a little chilly today. But as I stated, time out for playing. It's okay to have fun as long as you stay aligned with God. And in the will of God. As long as in His will, what you're doing, what you're deciding to do, stay in the will of God. <laughs> stay in the will of God. I was just watching uh, Philip Anthony Mitchell with 2890 Church, and that. They changed the name of the church to Matthew 2819, basically. So it's 2819. And uh, I was watching one of his old videos talking about prayer and fasting. The secrets of prayer and prayer and fasting. And I look back how I used to pray years ago compared to now. But God just want us to be authentic, real. Come to him. He already know what we need. He already know what we want. He knows our heart's desire. He know what's keeping us from him. He knows what we need to let go of. He knows, he knows all those things. So basically... When we're in prayer, we just talk to God and let him know. You are the God of the sun, moon, stars. He knows all that too. But we just get to the point to what God, what we really want. We want God to get us out of this storm. Even though we already know about the storm. What we're going through. So basically what I'm trying to say is 
get to the point. Get to the point. And God will do the rest. Say, Lord God, it's me again. <laughs> For Marka. I know you've heard me say this prayer over and over again. But I ask you to hear me one more time. I'm heavy in spirit. I'm going through a storm right now. And I just ask that you alleviate this pain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Simple as that. Simple as that. That's it. When we do that, oh, he heals. And he will bless us. Confess our sins to him, our shortcomings, and all that stuff. And watch God begin to raise us up. Because it'll show if we're studying, praying to God, and fasting in secret. If we do all that in secret, it'll eventually show up in public because how we respond to oh, thank you Jesus how we respond and retaliate or react when something is thrown our way do we cuss that person out do we cuss that company out for calling us or we do we respond with peace and humility. It's just real simple. I didn't want to keep y'all too long. But yeah, God is a forgiving God. Even though the world may know how you've been living and what you did, He is faithful to forgive us of our sins because He already died for them. He already died for him. He knew that Famaka was gone. Be in the will of God at one point and step out of the will of God at another point. He knew that Famaka was going to come back to him. But God wants us not to hesitate to do his will. Not to hesitate to do what has he has called us to do time and time again. He has told us over and over again to do this, do that. And we heard him. We just kept right on doing our own thing. I kept doing my own thing. When I knew God told me to hurry up out and do the will of God. What I've called you to do. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. And I just pray out there for a lot of, well, for everybody. The whole world. Especially you watching this video. I pray God speaks to your heart and heal your heart, heal your mind. And if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that you will believe, begin to believe that He died for our sins and rose from the dead. That's all you need. That's salvation right there. You in line with God and Jesus. That's all He wants to do. Believe. And once you believe, repent of your sins. Turn from our wicked ways. Thank you, Jesus. I have a blessed one. And I'll be sure to get back to you the next video. Peace.